taken down. And, and the bottom line is that you can't say that you have one rule for Facebook and you have a different rule for Twitter. The same rule has to apply, which is that there has to be a, 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 a responsibility that is placed on these social media sites to understand their power. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And that has to stop. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Har Chachbadash. They belong to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, like Shalom unto you. Your brother should quite with a really quick video. Just want to get into this topic, man. You, you know, you got to watch that we are in these end times. You got to see how it's going down, like we've been telling you. Like, not even like we've been telling you, like the scriptures have been saying. Okay, we've been putting the pieces of the scriptures together for you to see what's coming down the pipe. And this is what it is right here. Free speech is another something, okay? They want to stop your First Amendment rights. This is an article from faithwire.com. Uh, John Kerry uh, says, First Amendment is major block to stopping disinformation. Hopes to implement change to that okay it's in the way okay as i played the kamala harris one yeah because they're in, in, influencing major people uh, a lot, lot millions of people okay because the issue truly is that the men of the lord are out there pushing this word out so strong okay and the, and the, and the narrative is, is they're losing control of the narrative okay it's cool if you say one thing but the way that's why if you look at when when any country is invaded the first thing, or there's an attack. What they want to do is take out the uh, the internet, and take out a and take uh, take out communication. Okay, so they're not able to coordinate and and, and, and uh, communicate. Okay, so there's a, a form of discombobulation. All right, and so that's what they're trying to do as they take over the people. Is they're they're about to come in, like a flood, man. And when they do it, they coming on you, Jakes. They coming for the men of the Lord. They coming against everybody, okay? This is what they got to do to to fulfill their NWO. All right, so I'm gonna read this some of this article. It says, um, Democratic politician John Kerry described the First Amendment as a major block to the federal government stopping what it deems to be disinformation, and suggested he hopes should progressives retain control of the White House, they will implement change. And those progressives are Democrats. We That's why I, you just seen Kamala Harris step up on it. Now, you guys are swearing that she's all for for your rights, but then she brings up abortion, you know, clinics to the to the rally, right, to Atlanta. Okay? you, you People, Jake is so lost in the sauce, they're not paying attention. Okay? Is there a better choice? No, Trump, Trump is a wiser choice just if you were in the world but if you're spiritual neither have your your best in mind okay if you want to be a captive slave forever yeah okay if you want to go to work every day and barely make a living wage and, and let them depopulate and, and inflate the, the the you know never own anything and you will love it if you want all that that agenda to, to, to go then cool vote as you will but if you are for either one but if you want to be free and be in the kingdom of heaven where there's only righteousness and there's no sickness and death, and I mean all the wonderful things the scripture is saying, people can't lie to you and, and your neighbor don't lie, you know, you, your fellow Israelite, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans don't lie to one another, and it just peace and harmony and, and the earth is refreshed and, you know, uh, new, new, new heaven and earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, okay, without the damn devil spoiling and destroying everything. Hey, none of this is for you. Okay? This is the agenda that they're trying to get across. All right? Because, like I said, it's messing up the narrative. We come out and we tell you that those people that's in the land that's slaughtering, trying to take over the whole Middle East that want all that region, that they're not the real people. That's why they're moving so fast. Like, damn, it's starting to fall. We see that people are really starting to turn on us. And so they're making moves, and the rest of the world's like, hey, dang. Or the rest of the West is like, hey, why are you moving like that? Why are you moving so abruptly? I mean, we kind of know you ain't supposed to be there, but you moving like the damn devil. 
like making it obvious. They're like, we got to move now. Okay, and that's my opinion of what it looks like to me, how they're moving. But the scriptures support that. Okay, the devil coming down having uh, wrath because he knows he had but a short time from Revelation, the 12th chapter. All right. Anyway, it says, former security of the U.S. Department of State made the bold declaration last Wednesday during a session of the World Economic Forum, the WEF, focused on green energy. What is green anyway? Beginning at the 45-minute mark, Kerry's remarks came in response to an audience member who asked what the federal government can do to push back against those who call the legitimacy of climate change into question. Okay, because no, you don't see that everything they're doing is they're, they're making it into a crisis. They, 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 they go to these, um, you know, uh, these, these um, plants, they build these plants that, that have sludge and pollution and it's polluting the earth, and then they want to talk about climate change. Okay, because the earth is shifting into another form, but if they will stop chopping down the rainforest and then the, the lung of the earth, you know, in South America and all these other things that, that that are just detrimental to the environment of the earth, if they stop doing those things, depleting the minerals and taking up all the, you know, all the uh, all, all the nutrients out of the soil and just I mean, all the things that they're doing in the earth, this is what the, it is. When they stop and when the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai stops them, it's going to be refreshed. Okay? It's going to be refreshed. All right, I'm not going to read much. I'm not going to read more of that. I got another article. Oh, this is Dem um, this is from RT.com. Democrats trying to make free sp uh, take away free speech, says Musk. You know, Elon Musk. The billionaire accused the US Democratic Party of trying to censor citizens under the guise of fighting hate speech. Under the guise, this guise, of fighting hate speech. Okay? Freedom of speech, the First Amendment, taken away where you can't state your opinion. They already got people sensitive to it because they, they made you sensitive to where you can't say anything. Okay, you can't state your opinion in public without hurting someone's feelings. Okay, we, we see that they tell the um, the alphabet soup like, hey man, you 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 know when they when they transform, they're like, hey man, you, you got a medical mental condition. And then that, oh, that hurts my feelings. You don't know what I feel. I don't have to know what you feel. I know the biology. But, you know, like I said, that's something else. I digress. But all these things, they've conditioned the people to have different stances on, on things that shouldn't even be a, in question. Okay? And it's all to take away, ultimately, us calling it their plays, man. We're calling out the play. Okay? That's the problem. We'll call it out the play, and he's got to make a move. Okay? It says, tech, uh, tech mogul Elon Musk has accused the U.S. Democratic Party of trying to stifle free speech in the country by claiming to combat hate speech and misinformation. The billionaire made the comment following Tuesday's vice presidential debate between Democratic candidate and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Donald Trump's running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, where they discussed a number of issues, including free speech and censorship. Okay? I'll even go a little further with that. Walt stated during the debate that he does not believe that hate speech, threatened language, or misinformation is protected under the First Amendment, which grants U.S. citizens the right to free speech. Right? It's not protected under that. You can't tell, can't yell fire in a crowded theater that's the Supreme Court test, Walt said, referring to the 1919 quote from Supreme Court Oliver uh, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes. Writing on X on Wednesday, Musk, a self-described free speech abolitionist, <laughs> warned the, that the Democratic Party openly wants to take your freedom of speech under the guise of they deem to be of what they deem to be hate quote right during the debate Vance argued that censorship which was being carried out by big tech companies and supported by Kamala Harris and US President Joe Biden the problem is like even there's an issue of satire and, and truth 
okay, which kills the, the comedic voice. How can you entertain people if you can't, if you're not allowed to, to, to speak truths in a comedic way or to be comedic, you know, with satire? Okay? That's, the, I mean, what? how boring is life if you can't look at real issues and have a stance on it or an opinion, at least to laugh about it? It don't mean you got to change it or, or just don't watch and tune in. Okay? But now they then they're gonna make it. Well, the kids don't have a choice. They take the take the devices from the kids, but they know they're programming the kids with these things. Okay. It says um. Supported by Kamala Harris and U.S. President Joe Biden was a much bigger threat to democracy than anything we've seen in the last four years. Yeah, now you want to take it away after you didn't got all the people on record on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, and you got all the what they want and where they're at and what they like and. And all their information. Now that you didn't got it all for your for your data system, now you you know, now you want to go ahead and and take away what they can say and think on there. Cause we we were just talking a couple years back about the thought police, okay? Like in the movie Minority Report, a pre-crime. All right, this is you, you got to see where this is going. 1984, the movie in the book. You got to see where this is going. All right. Um, we have way much bigger threat to democracy than anything we've seen in the last four years, including the January 6th Capitol Hill riots, which the Democratic Party has repeatedly cited as proof of the threat to the democracy posed by Trump. It says, we do have a threat to democracy. It's big tech companies silencing their fellow citizens, and it's Kamala Harris saying that rather than debate and persuade her fellow Americans she likes to censor people who engage in misinformation, Vance said. Okay. It said the Republican VP hopes, hopeful, also accused the Biden-Harris administration of trying to get Americans banned from platforms like Facebook for criticizing government mass mandates for toddlers amid the C-19 pandemic. Okay. It's not yelling fire in a crowded theater that it's criticizing the policies of the government, which is the right of every American, okay, Vance argued, all right? And they can talk about it in those things, but at the end of the day, we know putting this word out there, publishing this word is what's really going to do it, okay? That's what's really doing it, okay? Because we, we, we've, um, let me get a script. I'll go straight to the point in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who not let will let until he be taken out the way. And then shall that wicked, these Edomites, they're the wicked of the earth, okay? They're the physical counterpart of the, the, of the devil the Bible speaks of, and Satan, right? It says, be, be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. How is he consuming with the spirit of his mouth? Because his prophets are prophesying about who this man is and, and, and his agenda, okay? And and we're consuming him with the word of the Lord, okay? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. You know, we're calling the, the prophecies, okay? And now it, it's starting to, man, it's, I want to say snowball, but, it's, but this word is really spreading like wildfire, okay? In time you're in a national football game, and somebody number four or number 14 is standing right there. Somebody go, oh, look, that's the perfect number right there on national television. You know, those with, with, with eyes and ears to hear it and see it, hey, we, we understood that. All right? So let me get a couple more scripts. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor, of my people, the Israelites, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Yeah, they destroy the whole setup of your Israelites' uh, belief system, your, your family structure, your culture. Okay, and then they don't, when you, when you, when the Spirit, Holy Spirit wakes you up, they want to take it away from waking up the rest of the people. Okay, but the scriptures have this laid out and marked. And there's nothing, you can, you can do nothing against the truth before the truth, right? 
Scripture says uh, in Amos chapter 8, verse 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay? And this is what's coming. They're going to cut off this word. That's why we, we continue to warn you Jakes out there. Hey, man, especially you men. Hey, wake up. Now's the time for you to wake up out of, out of your spiritual sleep that you may come into this thing. We know it's for a select in a number, 144,000 and one third of our people, but now's the time. We know there's still a great awakening to come, you know, but still, now's the time to wake up out of this thing, okay? To wake up to this, so that you can rehearse these righteous acts, rehearse your faith in, in your works, that, that you may uh, get mercy in that day, all right? This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 21, because part of the image of the beast in this NWO is that people can't speak against the government okay you can't speak against the regime all right you can't call out the play of the beast all right they want you obedient as, as uh, George Carlin says obedient workers obedient workers right this is Isaiah and they don't want you to they want you just smart enough to run the robots not smart enough to to question or think for yourself right and they're getting close you know, people are, are, are kind of there. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit, a lot of a lot of people wouldn't wake up. All right, this is Isaiah 29, 21. That make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that approveth reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Okay, this is what they do. They're gonna watch the penalty. They already were doing it on different websites. They've already been striking us on YouTube. They're already talking about on certain websites they can go back into your past and find you they'll find you then uh um i don't remember if it was uh t-mobile or, or or somebody that was saying that they would go i forgot which phone company carrier that said your text messages they, they can go in your private text messages and find you if you if they find offensive uh misinformation or fate offensive hate speech or something let me look that up once we're in apostles talking about fact checking. Let me look it up. Here it is right here on Reddit, right? It says, I left T-Mobile today over this and went to a different service. $500 fine for texting hate speech are here. All right. Let's go further down. Policing customers' personal texts, right? They always got the, you know, they do their own. But look, look at this. That's what it's saying. The, what I need to know about these hate speech fines. The fact that they're doing that at all. You know, takes away your First Amendment right. All right, and that's from T-Mobile. So, there you go. Okay, it may, I'm sure there's details to it. And, oh, if you do it on a Tuesday or, or if you say it this way or, or do that. If you're, you know, a business or whatever. Yeah, they'll have their fine print, but... The fact that they're doing it now means that if they if they one small step will just lead to bigger steps later. Okay, so I read this again, Isaiah 29, 21, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, because it's for us. They want to stop us for correcting our people. None of this was a problem. Nobody ever had a problem as long as these pastors was getting up and 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 shucking and jiving and, and gyrating and and flopping and begging for money and and threatening. The vengeance of the Lord when it came to money. But when we got on there and really started edifying our people to repent, now it's been a problem in the earth. And now we got to be silenced. Okay? Because the, these these spiritual spiritually sleep people that they spent a lot of money on and they, they've done a lot to, to control the narrative of keeping our people asleep, now they're starting to wake up spiritually. Now it's a problem. Okay? That don't mean they have the breath of life in them, but a lot of people are starting to just... You know, get the 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 the, uh, the the bones and the flesh and the sinew, okay? But they don't have the wisdom of His word fully, all right? But that's creating something that they can't control, okay? So, and this is all gonna be in, like I said, in the image of the beast. So, it said that make a man an offender for a word. Now, watch what it says in Matthew, Matthew twenty four verse nine. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, because we speak the, the words of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. 
long as we was using JC or Allah or whoever else, it wasn't a big deal. Now that we're using the real proper names, now it's an issue, okay? Because the spirit is different with those names, okay? And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another, okay? And that's what's coming, man. People going to start turning each other in when, when, when they start getting hit with these fines and situations, all right? And this is how they're going to police the NWO. The, the 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 this is the image this is the image of the beast man let me get it revelation chapter 13 verse 14 and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which have which he had power to do in the sight of the beast what is the beast the nato and eu nations okay they make up the beast and america is the whore that rides the beast okay all right and they're all going to start to hate the whore but before all of that this is what they've all come up with in the West over here, okay? To come up with a, with a, with a way of life. I was gonna say it's saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. What is that image? A way of life, okay? A model of life that's through technocracy, okay? Where technology polices and watches and surveillances the people. Okay, even down to hate speech, where they got AI technology to, to do that now. That can detect so many words, so many buzzwords and keywords. Okay, same thing that's going, that's getting you on these YouTube videos. Certain ones get flagged and maybe somebody overlooks it and makes a judgment on it. You know, but, but at the end of the day, something has to flag it. Okay. So they, they even said, oh, help be a YouTube, I forgot what they were called, YouTube something, affiliate or something, or you helped to um, to police YouTube, okay? And that's when they were shutting down a lot of pages around the, the time of uh, the 19, okay? And so this is going on. This is what they're building. This is that image of the beast. It's not a picture. It's a way of life that they want the people to live which had the wound by a sword and did live. And what's that? That was the Roman Empire, the ancient Roman Empire, which is that same beast, the fourth beast in the book of Daniel, where where, uh, where they went down for a thousand years, and then they came back during the time of the Renaissance. All right? And now they're still kicking the day. As I said, um, um, they will be back for a little season. They say will be loose for a little season. Well, this is the little season. Okay, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That's what the technocracy and the technology and the science, and the science is part of the miracles and the witchcraft and all these things are happening, right? That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, and that's the end of it. But they don't have to actually put you under the guillotine, which that's coming, as we know in Revelation the 20th chapter. So they will be beheaded, but we know they just got to cut you off, cut your mark off, your implant off, your C-hip off, your MOTB off, okay? Those are all synonyms for the same thing, all right? And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, and that mark right there is karagma. When you go deeper, it's karax, and then you go even deeper, it's graphos. Graphos is the information, the karax. Is 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 a is a is a is a um, an impaling. Let me get it. Let me get it. So I, so I could just show you. Right after I finished reading it, it says, "A mark in the right hand or in the foreheads that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast or the number of his name." Okay, and you can get it in your in your head or in your hand. Okay, we well, already see the ones that's going into people's head, that's get, giving them back miracles. Of sight and, and health and, and, and being able to walk again and play chess and video games and okay these things are happening okay this man's trying to make himself look like a god with his technology all right let me get that that word mark in the in the blue letter all right, blue letter 16 is receive a mark in the right hand or forehead mark I go to 17 okay at Karagma. Let's see right here. He that had the mark. Karagma. Okay. G5480. 
Okay, go to the root. It's karagma, which means a stamp or imprinted mark. Basically marked you. With what? With his badge of servitude. Look. Uh, stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Okay. All right. And then you go further. It's Karax. Etching the scratch in the pale or palisade. Right. I mean, you, 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 you to stick something into it to break the skin. Right. You go even further. The word here. Right there, yep, G11, and this was a G5482, it was Karaks, this is G1125, Grapho, okay, to write, all right, with letters and form, okay, what is it writing, the information, to write reference to, con co uh, to the contents of the writing, okay, what, well, that's your information, your ID, okay, so they have you, they have your ID, your blood type, your bank information, Okay, all of this is tying into this this whole way of life, and if you start violating um, the, the 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 misinformation free speech deal or or, or you know uh, hate speech deal, hey, they can find you and take stuff off your your your, your social um, credit score. Okay, take it out of your UBI or your uh, uh, which is uh, will probably be on the, the CBDC. Um, central bank digital currency and not in uh, American dollars okay cash alright this is what this coming down man this is what it is alright to write to one by writing okay to give information alright so compose okay so this is that's that's pretty much it Lord was that a fine giving all praise and glory in the Yahweh Bashim to the next one shall one